Hi, this is Dr. Tom Rogers at Performance Medicine, coming to you today with our weekly podcast, this Common Sense MD. That's what we all need more of is common sense in this world today. I'm going to talk to you today about something that I've been doing for a while. We're carrying it to a new level, though, recently. It's called PRP, platelet-rich plasma. And what that consists of are injections, mostly in joints, ligaments, tendons, even your scalp to grow your hair. But uh, what PRP is, it consists of two elements, the plasma, platelet-rich plasma. The plasma part, which is the liquid part, and the platelets, which play a real vital role in healing throughout the body. Uh, Mostly known to help clot blood. Um, But these platelets contain growth factors that can trigger cell reproduction and stimulate tissue regeneration and healing. What we do, we take blood from your arm and spin it down and get the platelet-rich plasma off of it. I call it liquid gold because that's what it looks like. It doesn't look red. It looks gold. Um, But anyway, so um, at the end of this video, you're going to get a special treat because you're going to actually witness an injection of PRP into a knee, my knee. And it's amazing how it works. Uh, So I'll talk about that a little bit later on on how we do it, and you'll see it. So we take the blood from your arm, and we use a special centrifuge to spin the platelets down. And this stuff does look like gold, and then we inject it. Um, Through years of doing this, I've learned some new things about it. One is um, I got a different centrifuge, because traditionally, PRP, a lot of people think of it as very painful, And it it used to be painful, but with this new centrifuge, we take off the white blood cells, which really create a ton of inflammation. When you do it that way, you almost have to immobilize, go on crutches for a few days and and not move around. And it's pretty painful. You know, I would tell patients, you know, you better get a pain pill ready by the time you get out of the office because it's going to hurt, and it did. But the new way, it's really not painful you'll see it on the video how painful it was to me um but so and i I love sticking needles but not into myself so um i've learned to deal with them but in any event so this new way of doing it is really virtually painless and there's really hardly any downtime there's a few do's and don'ts that that i go through but very easy i couldn't believe it really until i experienced it but um uh, so it takes about, after an injection, it takes about two to six weeks to really take full effect. It usually lasts for about nine months, so it's not a permanent thing. If you have no cartilage in your knee joint, then you know, it's not going to regrow enough cartilage to uh, help you avoid a knee replacement. But it sure may um, put it off for, for a while, maybe a long time, because you can get these as often as you want. It's your own blood that you're injecting in there. So there's very, very little side effects. It's not a drug. It's your own blood. And that's what makes it really easy. Um, It helps arthritis. um, And it does regenerate cartilage. It helps osteoarthritis, which anybody my age that's been active and doesn't have a little arthritis in their knee joints or hips or shoulder uh, ligaments, tendons, you know, it's a very unusual person. Um, so a lot of what we do in regenerative medicine is to try to keep um, your body young and moving. And if you're in pain all the time and your bone's all bone, you're not going to be moving too much because it hurts too bad. Um, I've told you before, most people see me because either they hurt or they're tired. That's the reason they see most doctors for. Um, so it's very safe. You may need, uh, you know, more than one injection, and it does grow hair. It actually, when, you, when we inject it into the scalp, um, and previously it was pretty painful to do that. Now with this new one, it's really not. We've really learned how to take this to a new level. Um, and my physical assistant, my physician's assistant that works with me uh, is just amazing at this. She's Jill. She's worked with ortho for 20 years and just an amazing injector as well. Um, 
just incredibly painless, as you'll see when she injects my knee. Um, but there's really just not a lot of contraindications to this. Um, if you had hepatitis C, if you ha have current HIV or any types of blood cancer, you don't want to do this. Um, but like I say, it's really not painful. It takes the white and red blood cells out, the part that caused too much painful inflammation. And we actually get more growth factors doing it this way. Um, it's, you know, you know, no crutches. I tell people to do a few things. For about three to five days before you get the injection, avoid aspirin and non-steroidal anti-inflammatories. Um, avoid fish oil, omega-3s, and vitamin E. Uh, hopefully, if you're on a blood thinner, you'll be able to stop it for a couple days before and after. Um, check with me or your doctor on this. Um, sometimes I'll tell people not to consume caffeine or drink alcohol for a day before, the day of, and the day after. Uh, it wouldn't hurt anything, but it just tends to work better because they can affect platelet function. Uh, so there's, there's a few do's and don'ts, but it's just incredibly easy, and it's not that expensive, um, and it works. I think, I think it works as good as some of the, you know, rooster comb, the Cinevis type injections as well, and it's definitely um, less expensive, and it's, it's not covered by insurance. No insurance is going to really cover this, so you, we have to make it affordable. But um, and a lot of times I'll inject a knee and then inject a scalp. If, if you have thinning, uh, receding hairline, I'll inject it with the same go-around for the same thing. Uh, but So think about platelet-rich plasma. If you have a lot of sore, chronic joint problems of age or even injuries, you know, a lot of athletes – um, at major college football teams, as you'll find out in the video, do this. I mean, young people do this as well. All the sports institutes are doing this. And a lot of your orthopedic docs are including PRP uh, even when they operate and do uh, major knee or hip or shoulder surgery. They'll bathe you in your own PRP Um you know, during the surgery. And there's a lot of other exciting things on the horizon, um, like even more potent stem cells uh, when everything gets worked out with the FDA on, on some of the sources of that. But uh, so I'm really excited about taking this to a new level. Um, if you have questions, please call us. And I do want you to uh, watch this short video where I kind of explain this procedure and you can kind of see it. So I hope this helps. Um, I'll see you next week. This is Dr. Tom Roger. Welcome to the Performance Medicine Show. Today I'm getting a procedure called PRP, uh, platelet-rich plasma. Jill is going to be injecting my knee. There's nothing really wrong with my knee, but I'm 67 years old. It's getting a little wear and tear on it, so... Uh, PRP is a phenomenal way to kind of rejuvenate uh, cartilage and almost bring those stem cell factors into your joints as well as tendons and ligaments. Uh, we have a famous ex-quarterback over here, Kirk Phillips, who is the rep that's brought us this device and he's had the procedure done himself. And um, Kurt, say hi to everybody. you got to get Kurt on that. Okay. Here we go. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're yeah. So I'm getting it numbed right now, and uh, if I start screaming, um, please forgive me. Um, I probably won't record this uh, and put it on if if I actually feel this too bad. <laughs> actually, I didn't hardly feel anything. I feel the I feel the fluid going in there, but. Very little pain at all. Kurt, this is a good little procedure. Have you cried yet? That's You're right. It. That's it. That's it. So I just You're got my first, I've never had my knee injected at all. Now I have a PRP to my knee. You can sit well, don't you? Um, this is amazing. Kurt, how long is it going to take me before I notice a difference in the mobility of my knee? <laughs> yes. Yeah, kind of freaky. Yeah, I think the, the goal is just to, we're trying to concentrate some growth factors just to, you know, try to generate some healing or um, a uh, 
prevent some pain, I think. So I don't think there's going to be an immediate response, uh, but hopefully over the next couple of weeks you, you feel some of that inflammation. Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, you know, my knees get a little creaky. I'm sure I've got a little arthritis, some degenerative arthritis in my knees after all these years of playing sports and biking, running, and all that kind of thing, basketball. Um, so like I've told you before, I wouldn't do anything on my patients that I wouldn't be willing to do on myself. So, And Jill is so good at this. She's worked with orthopedics for 20 years. That's right. She's going to be our specialist with PRP injections. So that was a really easy thing. I was, To be honest with you, I was kind of worried about it a little bit. Uh, Ernie, you're next. <laughs> and uh, also we, we inject a lot of scalps um, to grow hair back. So. Uh, we're supposed to wrap it up, so that was a very painless injection. Good. Uh, I'll give you some feedback, and how long? A month or so? How long is it going to take? I think a month would be, would be good feedback for sure. Okay. Okay. And I'll let you know if it grows here, also. So, um, thank you.